So hello, today we are going to talk about art markets here in the Philippines, what, um, how to join, what are the requirements, and um, what to expect. So we're going to talk about that while I'll do my journaling. So before anything else, my name is Maru and I am an artist here in Bicol and I've been joining art markets for a year already. And I'm still quite new, but I've already joined a few, so I would like to share with you some of my experiences and knowledge about it. So, with that said, um, I'm sorry about the noise of the, I'm sorry about the rooster's noise, chicken noise, because if you are from Bicol, you always can hear those things anyway um if you want to join art markets here in in the Philippines the first thing that you have to do is create your online portfolio so um, it doesn't have to be grand you don't have to have a website um, having an Instagram account a Facebook account or maybe Twitter that will do also it doesn't have to be professional looking i think organizers only like to see your social media accounts to make sure that you do make your own art um that you don't just download and print to make it into a sticker or an artwork because you know that's copyright infringement and art markets are supposed to be a celebration of your works and sharing it to others while making profits. So, if you're worried about followers, it I think it doesn't matter. I join art market when I only have like 200 followers around that time and and the market that I joined was StickerCon. It's already a big one, so I think it doesn't matter. And I also know some other artists who just recently did their social media accounts just because it's a requirement. So yeah, that's it. So if you're done making your um if you're done making your art portfolio the next thing that you have to do is find event organizers so how do you look for event organizers so if you search at Google the first thing that will probably pop out is comic Cat and sticker con so just try follow their um, social media accounts they have Facebook they have Instagram account and just follow them and wait for any event announcement. And the other thing that I did is I tried to look up for, for other artists and try to see if they join other art markets, art events. And I tried to click on those and I followed there and I followed those art organizers and then i just wait for any event announcement these registrations is done ahead of time so for example i have an event this coming september um those registrations happened around june july august so i think four to two months before the event registration is the registration is already ongoing so just try to check their page from time to time if they have any event announcement so how do you register to these art markets so if you are from the province like me don't worry um you can register anytime anywhere as long as there's an internet connection and you have an email account you are good to go you can join it and you know when organizers post this event they will set a date for registration so just wait for those schedules and they will send a link uh, they will post a link so all you have to do is just click click those link and 
um, so these are the stickers from here this is actually my second time doing this I didn't like how it turned out so I'm doing it again um, so they will post a link and all you have to do is click that link and then just fill out the form so it's just basic questions they will only ask basic questions like your name your address and what are you going to sell that's it anyway um one thing to remember is that they always ask for your social media link your for or your for for your website and a description of your shop or yourself so try to prepare that ahead of time sometimes they also ask for your id especially if the event is at a school so you can just uh, take a picture of it or scan it and then send it so just be careful of sending um those kind of sensitive informations um because you know just make sure that the event is legit i don't know how you're going to do that but just be careful anyway and also try to bring those id when you are at the event um, next would be so registration fees varies um, depending on how big the event how many days is the event and what kind of table you are getting so there are many tiers in choosing tables most of the time the table size is two by feet six feet and you can have all that by choosing a full table um, also you can have half of it by choosing half table then have or maybe you can have one fourth of the space by choosing a solo table i mean solo artist it's kind of confusing because a full table is also a solo artist but when the time comes for sure you will not be confused by it because the because of how expensive the full table is I'm not really sure how how much it costs. I didn't really look to it because I didn't plan on getting some on getting a full table so yeah. That's that. If you are worried about money, don't worry. Don't worry, you can register without paying first. They will set a deadline. They will set a deadline of payment and if you do not pay on time of course your registration is forfeited and cancelled so goodbye i don't know what are the consequences if you cannot join anymore i'm not sure but i recently have an experience about it in at comic-con um i tried to register but i found out that they only gave us seven days to pay for the registration fee and I don't have the money. So my registration fee was forfeited and I don't know if I will ever have the chance again to be accepted in the future. But for sure, I will still try because Comic Cat is also one of my, um, one of the art markets that I would re I really like to join and experience too. If you see me at Comic Cat, then I got in. Congrats me, please. So how much does registration fee cost? So the table that I always choose is um, the solo table, the smallest one, around 2 by 2 feet or maybe 1.5 by 1.5 feet. I pay around 1,200 to 1,800 a day. So it includes a table, uh, one chair and an ID. Um, you can have an assistant, but you also have to pay for them. Um, I think the payment is just the same as the buyer's entrance fee. The only advantage that they will have is that they can enter the venue ahead of time so that they can assist you in setting up your booth and they can have an ID for a souvenir. So that's the only um. That's the advantage that they will have.
I think the number of assistant also varies. Um, for solo artists, I think you can have one assistant. For half table, you can have two and maybe three for full table. But I'm not really sure about it. I think I've read it somewhere, but I didn't really take good. I really, I didn't really take a good look at it because I I'm not getting any assistance. So um, if you're going solo for the art market, don't worry, you can do it. Other artists are actually really friendly. You can ask them to take a look at your booth while you go to the restroom or grab some snack or lunch. Just please be mindful. Just because you ask them doesn't mean that you can take too long. Um going somewhere you know just be mindful because they're also tending to their own table so please be mindful about it so i'm only going to talk about solo table because it's what i always get um for half table i think you can have it around two to three k i'm not really sure about it though so i'm really sorry I didn't you know if you are watching this you'll probably be getting the solo table first so so um, what's next so how does the selling goes it can be commission based or registration based so most of the time big art markets only do registration fees so you're just going to pay for registration fees and Whatever profit you made that day, it's all yours. That's it. Meanwhile, um, commission base are only happens at school events or fundraising events, but it rarely happens because it was very hard to track. So it's good if you are a beginner or doesn't have a big budget for art markets because organizers don't often ask for registration fee. You only get a certain percentage of your total profit that day and if you sell a little, you will only get a little and if you sell a lot, then you will get a lot. Uh, they will get a lot. So with that said, about your merch. Wait, I cannot continue with my journaling. So about your merch, it's okay not to have a lot of things to sell, especially if you are just starting out. Um... They don't have any minimum or maximum required merch to sell. But they have certain rules to follow. For example, for sticker con, I think 70 or 80% of your merch must be stickers. Then the rest can be anything like buttons, um, pins, bracelets, keychains, and many more. Others have rules like most of your merch must be original and only a small per percentage are for fan arts so you know the key is to read just read they will give um they will give a lot they will give a lot of um rules to read so just read please next would be your table setup so most of the time the table already has a black cloth cover and you can use that as it is but if you have a color branding you can bring your own um cloth cover you know as long as you don't go over someone else's table space so anything goes you can design your table whatever you want as long as you are in your space others have a certain height limit from the table you can have a display of up to two feet others don't have a limit so if you want to do fairy lights you can but use battery operated ones because they will not let you use electrical outlets. So bring your handheld fans, charge your phone, batteries, um, what more? Um, those things that you put in your um, phone so that it will charge. I forget the name. So just be prepared because, you know, sometimes they have charging station. But, you know, you have to be careful that your phone will not be lost I think um, that's it if you have any other questions just let me know in the comments below um, any other tips um, go early 
I would go as early as possible. If the door opens for sellers around 7 a.m., then I will be there before 7. Because when you are early, most of the time, the artist beside you is not yet around. So you have all the space to work with without worrying, bothering your neighbor. And if you finish setting up your table early, you can go and have your snack and breakfast. Um, organizers invite food concessionaires so you don't have to go out to buy food. But you can also bring your food inside. You can bring your own lunch. You can bring your own water. You can bring food from outside. Um, it's fine. It's okay. Also, you can already roam around and you can buy from artists already without worrying that your table is being left unattended because um i think the oh, the door opens most of the time around 10 a.m so you have all the time to have breakfast and be with other artists so um what else um at the end of the event i mean near the end of the event other artists will roam around and hands out a freebie. Um, you can do art trades. You can prepare a simple small sticker to give back to them. It's better if it has your brand name so that they can look at it and maybe follow you on their social media. So, um, so that's it. I hope that you join Art Market someday. See you. Good luck. Aja fighting.